Hey, I'm going to the gym. Okay, don't forget, I've got book club tonight. Right. Oh, I really feel guilty because I never read the books. But I like to go because they have good wine. And I like wine. My husband is from actually Boston, and I'm from Georgia, so our kids are bilingual. We're very proud. <laughs> our oldest is learning how to drive right now. He says, hey, y'all, watch this. I'm fixing to park the car. <laughs> My husband and I took the opportunity to have a date night, and we went out. We left my mom with the kids. At some point, I called home just to check on everybody, make sure everybody was okay. No answer. I got no answer on the phone. And when I got home later, I said, I, why didn't you pick up the phone? I tried to call y'all. She said, well, I couldn't answer the phone because I was too busy trying to vote for you on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> which is weird even for my mother. I said, what are you talking about? She goes, well, I was watching Dancing with the Stars, and every time the phone would ring, a little box would come on the TV set with your name in it and a phone number to call. <laughs> Bra shopping is one of the most miserable shopping experiences that there is. I see some nods. Yes, thank you. It's awful. It's awful. And my husband does not understand this. My husband's like, I don't know. Sounds kind of fun to me. <laughs> I mean, that's because you buy your underwear in a six-pack, <laughs> right? The same store where you buy wiper blades. <laughs> Why does the grass seem greener when it is not? I don't think the grass is always greener. It's... I, I'm a positive thinker. I, I think that, you know, go where the grass is greener. Get out of here. No, <laughs> that sounds like, that doesn't sound right at all. Right, I'm just, yeah, go golfing. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. This guy's a genius. <laughs> this guy's a genius. Like the guy the other night when we were in lacrosse, genius guy, he says, he's an older guy, so he's thinking about their future and how they're going to, you know, conserve their money. He, I said, what do you do for a Valentine's card? He said, I take her to the store. And I find one, and I let her read it. Then I put it back in the rack, and we split Can I tell you the thing that will ruin a relationship more than anything? A single word, staycation. Have you heard this word, staycation? I don't know who's trying to sell it to the other person. What are we going to do this summer, honey? Well, we're going to go on a staycation, which means staying home in your hometown. This is like telling a homeschool kid, uh, you can have a snow day. <laughs> There is something that women like very much, and I know about it. Would you guys like to know? You want to know what really turns women on? Yeah. Okay, that's the kind of, that's enthusiasm. All right. Well, women love fresh vacuum tracks. <laughs> you can hear that it's already, they're titillated by the whole idea. Look at that woman's doing the actual motion. Yes. Yes, it's like foreplay. Fresh vacuum tracks. Now, don't panic, sir. You do not have to vacuum. You do not have to plug it in. You just drag that thing through the house right before she gets home. <laughs> oh, I'm going in the bedroom to freshen up, right? I'm telling you, it's, <laughs> it's they're, seriously, they're not forensics experts. They just look for the tracks. Do you know what I'm saying? My husband wants to retire. He's going to drive me crazy. Any ideas? This is why Walmart greeters were invented. <laughs> Is it romance or is it Viagra? I don't know. I have, a good, I have a good question for people. Let me just see if I can do this now. All right, this is a good little puzzle. Okay, guess which hand I'm holding the Viagra in. 